Okay, this is uh, called A Boy in the Temple. It's based on Matthew uh, chapter 2, verses 19 through 23, and Luke chapter 2, verses 39 through 52. When King Herod dies, an angel visits Joseph again in a dream. Get up, take the child and his mother, and go back home to Israel. The ones who were trying to kill the child are dead. Joseph takes the family back to Nazareth, where he sets up his carpenter shop. Jesus grows up strong and wise and filled with God's grace. Each spring, Mary and Joseph traveled to Jerusalem to attend the Passover feast. They thank God for delivering his people from slavery in Egypt hundreds of years ago. One year, when Jesus is 12, the family goes to the feast as usual. Okay, and so it's a very, very close location. Um, in with a car, you can just drive in so in an hour or so and get to Nazareth. They're very close by. It takes a little bit longer to walk it, of course. In Jerusalem, Jesus spends his time in the temple and with the wise men and teachers. After the feast is over, Mary and Joseph set out for home. That night when they make camp, Joseph, where is Jesus? Well, he must be with his friends. I'll, I'll find him. But no one has seen Jesus. Frantic, Mary and Joseph go back to Jerusalem, and they look for Jesus nearly everywhere in the city. Finally, they find him in the temple. Jesus is sitting with the teachers. Jesus, we've been looking everywhere for you. We were so worried. Why were you looking for me? You know that I need to be in my father's house. Okay, I don't think that would have worked in my home. That would, that would, that would have been in a little more trouble than that. <laughs> okay, here's a new page. Ooh, we got that picture of John the Baptist again. Uh, your son has been asking hard questions, but he has given some great answers, too. We are amazed at his knowledge of the scriptures. I wonder if he had to read um, to, to get all that, or if he just knew. Okay. I bet he had to do some reading. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, Jesus returns to Nazareth with Mary and Joseph, where he continues to grow wiser and stronger. Mary cherishes her miraculous son in everything he does, and every day he becomes more pleasing to God and to other people. Miles away in the wilderness, another young man follows God's plan, but he doesn't hear God's call in the temple. He hears God's call in the desert. This is that wild John the Baptist, baptized, based on Luke 3 and Matthew 3. John, the son of Zechariah, and Elizabeth grows up with God's call on his heart. As an adult, he meditates in the desert, and there he hears God calling him. He begins preaching forcefully all around the Jordan River. Stop sinning! Be baptized! God's kingdom! God's kingdom is very near! Dressed in camel hair and eating nothing but locusts, grasshoppers, and whatever honey he can scrounge from the wild bees, John doesn't have a lot of patience for people who live in luxury and ignore God. John reminds people what the scriptures say in the book of Isaiah. A messenger is calling out from the desert. Prepare the way of the Lord. Soon all of you will see God's salvation with your very own eyes. And there he is. Yeah, I'd say he probably looked a little bit tattered living in the desert. No washing machines and stuff like that. Yeah. News spreads far and wide about the man who looks and speaks like a prophet. Curious crowds come out to hear John the Baptist, but some assume he's talking about other people's sins, not, not mine. So, you think just because you are Jews, you will be allowed in God's kingdom? You must repent first. If you have extra clothes, share with someone who has none. If you have extra food, give it away. Scoffers turn away, but many people listen carefully. They wonder if John might be more than a simple prophet. Are you the Savior God has promised us? No, I baptize with water, but he, he will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Get ready, the Savior is coming. I, I still did his voice kind of like he's older, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> 30 years old. That seems young now to me. Young, young, young. John doesn't know it, but the Savior is in the crowd one day. Jesus has come down from Nazareth to hear John speak, and he asked to be baptized. Why? Why do you come to me to be baptized? I'm the one who needs to be baptized by you. John, God chose you to introduce me to the world. 
So John baptizes Jesus. And when Jesus comes up out of the water, the Spirit of God descends in the shape of a dove. You are my beloved son. I am so proud of you. God has shown his approval of Jesus. The Holy Spirit's presence at his baptism means God the Father will help Jesus with his holy work. Jesus goes into the desert alone to think about God's plan for establishing his kingdom. For weeks, Jesus fasts and prays, and at the end of 40 days in the wilderness, Jesus is very hungry. It is then that he hears the voice of the devil speaking to him. So now in the next chapter, the, the villain shows up.